Hi, in this video we can see how to set up the Kubernetes cluster in AWS Cloud. This is the architecture. First we create one master node, then we create the two worker node. Now we move to AWS Management Console. Here click Instance. Click Launch Instance. Here I will give the name Master Node. Then here I will choose Ubuntu. Then here we use the T3 small. This have 2 CPU and 2 GB memory. Then scroll down. I already have the keeper. If you don't have keeper, click here and create the new keeper. I already have the security group. I map here. So in security group, we allow the rule SSH and allow all traffic. Then here scroll down, go to advance. I already have one script. Now I paste, paste that script here. That script will set up the master node. Click choose file. This is the script. I will share the script in the video description. Then click open. Here scroll down, edit this, delete this command. Then click launch instance. It will take time to run. Here I will show my security group. This is my Kubernetes security group. Here we will allow the SSH and all traffic. Then here SSH is the source, this IP address. Then here we will map that same security group ID. Then only the cluster will work. Then move to our running master instance. Click here, then click connect, then go to SSH, then copy this. Then we move to open the Windows PowerShell. Here paste our script then it is the key folder uh, that folder I store my key then enter IPS now we we log into our master node here we type kubectl get node now we have only one node that is master node that is status is not ready now the, our master node is ready here we will type the join command 
that command in the script open the master script then here I will copy this command paste here then click enter now we copy this command and paste on worker script go to worker script edit this line and paste here then save now we move to console now create the worker node click launch instance give the name worker node 1 then scroll down here I will choose Ubuntu then scroll down here we use that free tier T2 micro then scroll down I map my key pair then here I will select my security group already created security group then scroll down then go to user data click choose file here we will choose the worker node here we will check the host name one then open to image name then we, we already edited the join command so no need to edit here click launch instance take time to create a worker node we will wait yeah worker node also created it was in initializing state here I will open my windows powershell here I will type the command kubectl get node worker node is not ready It will take time to create after worker node create it will show here Yeah, now our worker node also created but it is not ready state now we move to create another worker node same steps click launch instance here give the name worker node 2 
then scroll down here I will choose the Ubuntu image then here the free title to micro then map our keeper then here I will use my security group then scroll down here we paste our same script worker script here we change the name only here change to to the remaining all our scheme and click launch instance Now we have one master node and two worker node. After this worker node complete this status check, we will move to PowerShell, then we will check the node. move to powershell we will type the same command now we have two nodes only we will wait Yeah, here our three node will ready. One is the master node, another one is the another to our worker node. Uh, now these are in not ready state. Now go to master script. Copy this command, then paste on PowerShell. I paste here then enter we will wait it will take time then this all node come to ready state yeah you can see after entering this command this all nodes will come to ready state now our Kubernetes cluster setup is ready. Next video we will see how to create pods and do some uh, water futures in this Kubernetes. And finally after creating this, stop this virtual machines. Thank you.